There has been a lot of talk lately about America's food chain and the impact on our health. The CDC's research indicates a strong link between high processed foods and type 2 diabetes, cancer, obesity, and heart disease. But what do terms like processed or unprocessed really mean? And are they okay in moderation or should we avoid certain foods altogether? Our next guest says it all depends. Registered dietitian Dolores Woods from UT Health Houston School of Public Health joins us to decipher what that all means. All right. And it's so funny is that we obviously eat food every day, but uh, several years ago, they came to the conclusion that a lot of us don't really understand not only what these terms mean, but actually what is in our food. You started out as a chef. Yes, I did. That was my first career. I was doing a lot of cooking classes, working in restaurants, and people would oftentimes ask me if it's healthy, mm -hmm. you know, whatever I was cooking, and I didn't know how to answer it. So I went back to school, decided to go into nutrition and dietetics to be able to help people cook healthy but flavorful food. Yeah, what was the biggest lesson you learned when you went uh, to, to get your education, which, uh, by the way, uh, you got your master's in food studies at NYU? Yes. I. I think the most challenging thing is really competing with all of the marketing from food companies mm -hmm. because so many people just um, want to do better, but they just don't know how. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, there is a poor health epidemic in this country, as we know, uh, we've seen in the news. Uh, nearly a third of young U.S. adults are overweight and can't serve in the military because of that. Um, the first generation, the CD says, this is the first child generation that might not live as long as their parents because of diseases like diabetes. And 73% of U.S. adults are overweight or obese. It's a huge problem. So much of it has to do with our diet. And again, it's those added sh uh, sugars, the processed food. So we really want to focus on prevention, kind of like how Dr. Simpson was talking about prevention. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's just start with some of the basics. And some people say, yeah, well, I get it. But a lot of us still aren't getting it. When we say unprocessed, that's kind of what it looks like right there. Exactly. <laughs> you see, it's whole, it's exactly in the state that it's intended to be eaten. And we have fruits. All of the vegetables are going to be your whole, unprocessed foods and they really should be the primary sources of the foods we eat yeah all of these yeah whole fruits but vegetables. here's what we're dealing with convenience shelf life and also people say yeah but I can't go to the grocery store every day right. um, and then I'm gonna ask you about something I, the, even on on our fruits and vegetables they're a little bit different today some of them I cut an apple a couple weeks ago and I left it on the counter and two days later it was still there was no browning or anything it was right. still it was <laughs> like it was like I just cut yeah what's going going on in that apple right there, right? <laughs> okay, so let's move on down to, these are things that are going to be processed somewhat, but, right. but here's the key. Right? So these are processed, but just because they're gonna be a little bit more shelf stable, even foods like frozen fruits and frozen vegetables, they're considered processed, but they're still gonna be much better for us than anything that's ultra processed, which yeah. we'll talk about. So canned beans are a great source of protein, of fiber. Yeah. Watch they, the sodium in there. Watch right? the sodium. Um, canned fish, so your tuna fish, even canned salmon, those are still processed, but again, it's a good source of protein. Any vegetables um, also can be canned, so we have some canned pumpkin here just as an example, but there are so many canned vegetables, and again, those can be a part of our diet, but you're right, we need to watch the sodium, make sure we rinse any of that broth that's in there mm. or the liquid, and they're still gonna be a part of our uh, healthy diet, including pasta, some grains, like quinoa, yeah. farro, so definitely and Bounce get all that some, out, yeah. and then we get to, okay. <laughs> yes, so now we have more of these ultra-processed foods, and that's the distinction, is we have processed, and then these ultra-processed foods, these, when we think about it, they're unrecognizable. They do not really, you know, they're, they're not found in nature this way. And so cereals, I know it's such an easy and convenient food, especially for kids, but yeah. it is very processed. There's so much sugar in there. Also, there's that kind of game that's played. Like for our, I had a, uh, a cheese cracker the other day and it said made with 100% real cheese. Well, that could be just a, a sprinkle of cheese. Yes. It's not the whole thing made of real, right? Yes. So there's that word game there. And then I'm and quickly, if Connie, do we have time for one more thing? She said, sure, okay, vitamins. A lot of people will go, okay, I'll just, I'll just make a, my meal replacement will be a drink or vitamins. 
food first. Most of us do not need the vitamins. Let's get it from food first, especially these whole foods. Yeah. Um, that's the first thing that we should do um, is think about it. Most people, if you're eating a good, healthy diet, you're not gonna need the vitamins. They're not regulated, so we're, we just don't know what's in them. You don't know what's them. even in them. All right, thank you so much, Dolores. Gotta get you back, uh, cause we can talk about food forever. That's I'm coming over to see what's in your pantry before I head to the grocery store. We can go like, shop together, okay? Or just go to the grocery store. I have some coupons. Yeah, okay. Oh, absolutely. All right, thank you very much.